Good afternoon, everybody. Thanks for coming out. Uh, my name is Andy Hughes. I'm a, a librarian here in Special Collections in the Florida Study Center. And on behalf of the USF Libraries um, and the Office of Diversity, I want to welcome you all to uh, our celebration for Native American Heritage Month. Um, someone suggested that I read the menu because there were some wary travelers who didn't know what they were eating. So, <laughs> so I'm just going to share that with you really quick. The uh, the white spread in there is a smoked salmon spread. There's a wild mushroom bruschetta in there. That's the uh, mushrooms you see in there. Uh, the salsa is a, is a grilled vegetable and corn salsa. There's smoked turkey, uh, wrap rolls, um, and then of course we've got the fruit. So, oh, and then there's the mini pumpkin tarts. Quite good, I just tried them. Um, I, I want to thank you for coming. Uh, we have a very special guest with us today. Um, uh, if she looks colorful on the outside, I can only assure you she's just as colorful on the inside. I've, I've never seen her in a controlled environment, so I'm not sure if the Grace Allen Room can contain this woman's energy, <laughs> but uh, we'll just hope that we're, it'll all hold together. Um, but uh, she's going to share some, some great stories with you today about, um, about coming of age and, and finding out about uh, her own heritage, and uh, she tells a great roundabout story and, and we'll also share with us some other things. You're going to learn the, the ABCs, emancipation style. Um, shortly after emancipation, uh, a white family taught her family the alphabet and, and, uh, and reading and writing. So she's going to share with us a little bit about that. And then of course uh, she's going to share a poem that she wrote um, at the end of the event about um, look uh, where he has brought me from, which uh, of course is the the title of the poem and the event for today. So, uh, Andy, can you pull the mic a little bit further towards you? Sure. Can everyone hear me, by the way? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. All right. We're good. Um, all right. Well, uh, without further ado, I want to introduce Mabel Sims. She was born in Pasco County. Uh, she never uh, went far from home, and she lives um, in a modern house next to uh, her old family harm, uh, farmstead that was established after emancipation. You get to see pictures of the old uh, farmstead here, and I'm sure you will enjoy it. Uh, thank you. Good evening. My name is Mabel Sims. I was born the sixth generation of a former slave, lived on a farm. Hard work was the only thing that I knew. Living and growing up in a society where there, there was a lot of bickery, a lot of hate, but where we lived, none of that showed. Our neighbors were white families. We shared things together. We lived together in harmony and in love. 